Two months have passed since Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton's acquittal by the Texas Senate on multiple impeachment charges, including bribery, abuse of office, and retaliation against members of his senior staff who went to the FBI after witnessing what they considered criminal wrongdoing. After first firing them, Paxton later felt compelled to offer these whistleblowers an apology and a $3.3 million settlement, albeit at taxpayer expense. When House lawmakers refused to pay, the settlement collapsed, but hardly the whistleblower's claim. This week, that civil case was moved to the decidedly Paxton unfriendly venue of Travis County, where it will proceed to trial. Panel, based upon the law and the evidence we've already heard, I'm told odds are against the Attorney General prevailing. Thank goodness we have a legal expert here. Gary Pollan. Uh, yeah, that's uh, if I was uh, representing Attorney General Paxton in Travis County, it's not the venue I would like. I'd probably file a motion to change venue because I don't think he's going to get a favorable jury there. But what's important here, and we have to go back and remember, is this. The whistleblowers of the Attorney General's office are not liberal Democrats. They are conservative yep. Republicans, some yep. really super conservatives mm -hmm. who decided that conduct by Attorney General Paxton was beyond the pale. So were they whistleblowers? Well, we'll see what a jury thinks, but uh, I like the odds for the whistleblowers to get a judgment against Ken Paxton. Okay, under the category transparency and sunlight, you know, another legal proceeding, Holly. Absolutely. And, you know, back to, we've discussed uh, the impeachment vote and what happened there in the Senate. And this is one of the problems, one of the reasons that a lot of those senators voted against impeachment, because these issues have not been fully resolved in the court system. They have not been fully adjudicated. And so that put those senators in an awkward position. I think now with this trial, we'll get a chance to learn more about what really happened and uh, get some good testimony whether or not the OAG's office can prevail in this uh, Travis County court. V seems unlikely, but uh, I'm sure there's going to be appeals, and we're going to be talking about this on many more shows to come. Marcus Davis, spring-loaded to comment. 30 uh, seconds. No, I just, I'm just grateful that there's a real court where a real trial will be held other than that faux trial that happened in the Texas legislature that was lopsided from the get-go. The oh. fix was in, and I hope the fix isn't in on this one. I hope justice is served. All right, Tamar Bell. Well, I'm, I agree with Marcus. Uh, I did not like the clown show in Austin, so I'm very glad to see the, these. And I mean, Gary hit it. These are conservative people that he handpicked because you couldn't come work for him unless he <laughs> approved you. So this is not like it was a bunch of Democrats in there. These are his people who said, okay, there's a limit. So I'm hoping Travis County get them. All right, <laughs> Paul, uh, how about this? Sometimes justice delayed is not denied. Do you think there is a possibility that uh, Paxton gets what's coming to him? Yes, I want to trust the system here. So we sit here and talk about it being a Travis County court. What about this? These are Texans, right? And we've asked a group of Texans yet to be determined to sit, be impaneled, and listen to the facts. And if we can't trust them simply because of who they vote for, mm -hmm. then can we trust our neighbors? Um, I trust my neighbors, and I think in this case, our neighbors are going to come together, hear the facts, and make a determination, and I'm, and I'm thankful for that. Hey, if you had to pick one side to defend for a paycheck, which one would you defend? <laughs> uh, probably the Attorney General because he has those billionaires who can back him up with a lot of money. Gary, that's that's a good the Gary about the money. Gary about the money. Show me the money. <laughs> All right, we're gonna leave.